What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test 10 more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got today. For the first two gadgets I got two very cool whiskers. Let's see what they do. First I'm going to show you what they do. If you push it like that, boom, it's a manual whisker or mixer, whatever you want to call it. But another amazing option, if you need to mix something in a small bowl, you see most of the whisker will not be even mixing anything. So you unscrew this and then you can push it down like that. And anywhere and look now it's going to be able to mix it in a shallow bowls like that. If I only need to mix a little bit of the stuff and you can adjust wherever you want. Let's say we need to make some pancakes. A little bit of milk, a little bit of flour and an egg. Boom. Okay, now, right now with the regular whisker you see most of the whisker not even mixing anything. I really love that option that it spins like that. So I can just adjust it. Okay, that's deep enough. Close it and now, whoa, that's actually going to mix it a lot faster, except it makes a lot of mess right now. I need more milk, it's too thick. You know what guys, that works really well. Wow. When it's open all the way, it spins a little bit faster, but wow, look at that. Very easy and you don't even need electricity. And what's so special about this whisker? What you're going to do is grab it and boom, twist it and you got yourself whisker. And then I can mix it up, my dough, whatever. Not as easy as this one because I actually have to use my muscle to keep mixing it. But I just really like that idea to where you want to store it, boom, close it and it doesn't take much space at all. I really like that a lot. Very unique whiskers, I thought they were really cool and I just wanted to show it to you. I like them a lot. For this gadget I got here a little attachment that attaches to your pot so that you can put your spoon on it. Instead of sitting it on the counter and making a mess, you can just stick it inside of this spoon holder. Let's see how it works. So we got ourselves a pot, you gotta mix something in there and usually it's like dirty. So you put it down and you're gonna make your counter really messy. So with this gadget what we're going to do is just stick it like that and this kind of spoon you can stick it and put it like that. Boom. Or if you have different spoon you can just stick it like that if you wish. Or you can even hold like that. Definitely works for many different type of spoons, forks, whatever you have. You know what guys? For this gadget, thumbs up for me. Really cool because it fits all my spoons. That's awesome. For the next gadget, I got here egg scrambler. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, let's open it up. Boom. And right here, there's a yolk separator. So let's put an egg inside there. Boom. Wow, all these eggs has double yolks inside of it. That's crazy. What kind of eggs are those? So then you put it in the egg and then mix it up. Let's open it up, see what happened inside there. Whoa, definitely scrambled up the egg really, really well. Let's try to do one more. Look how huge all these eggs. I bet this is a twin as well. Go and put it in it. Yolk separated. Oh my gosh, wow. That's insane. That little chicken makes two yolks in each egg. How crazy is that? You see, I'm separating the yolk, just keep mixing it a little bit. And that way you can actually use a yolk for something if you need to, but wow, look at that. Oh, it broke apart. This whole carton has two yolks in each egg. Wow, that's insane. Okay, let's scramble up the eggs one more time. Doesn't take too long to... Uh, Mix it up and boom. Wow, super easy to scramble the eggs. But honestly, I could probably do the same with the fork. Still, very unique gadget. Thumbs up for me. Well, this gadget is a soda saver. What you're going to do is screw it on in a bottle. Boom. You see right now the bottle is still 
very very soft and all that carbonation will go up and you're going to lose the carbonation instead we're going to press it like this and look that bottle is really really hard right now you can even make it harder so that way you will not lose any of your carbonation if you want to open it all you have to do is open it like that whoa look at that air add some more and then after i'm done i'm going to close it boom till it clicks and all i have to do you see how soft the bottle is all i have to do is pump it up a whole bunch of air inside of it boom and it's really tough again so that way you're not going to lose your carbonation it probably best for two liter bottles but let me open this again to just look at it boom wow definitely compresses air inside of it for the next gadget i got here a pickle picker fork very very different and unique fork let's see what it does let's say you want to cook a hot dog we grab a fork stick on it and then to let it go you gotta shake it around and it's just very inconvenient you see it's just annoying it gets stuck in there boom well with this little fork you stab it lift it and if you want to put it down you just release it stab it grab it put it somewhere and release it so this is actually awesome fork i will be using it for a lot of different reasons definitely very useful serving utensil awesome i love that a lot for this layer gadget this is a microwave cleaner let's see how it works i'm twist her hair right here it shows you how much vinegar i gotta add first boom to the line then there is a water line i'm gonna add it to that line boom then i'm gonna close this back up in the instruction it says microwave it for seven minutes on high boom let's see what happens okay it's been about seven minutes six something minutes whoa let's take this out wow this whole microwave is honestly pretty moist and smells like vinegar so i guess what i'm supposed to do is just clean this stuff out now all this spills and stuff oh wow it works so you know what guys i really like what it did very clean microwave i like it but the downside is now my microwave smells like vinegar and my kitchen smells a little bit like vinegar well you be the judge for this gadget if you ever peel a little onion or garlic you know that your hands is going to smell really bad after it so i'm just gonna break it in half and put it on my hands all that very smelly juice why am i doing this well because this layer gadget it's like metal soap supposed to get rid of all the smells it just run my hands like a soap under water and guess what all the smells have left wow this thing is actually works i'm pretty amazed i always wanted to try it out but wow the garlic smell on your hands is really terrible and hard to get rid of with this soap really easy and all it is is just a metal bar i guess it gets rid of all the smells and for this gadget is color flower prep tool boom look at that that's so easy to actually cut it that's so awesome so if i need to keep cutting it all i have to do is just go like that wow that's that's actually really cool instead of using the knife you can use that you could probably do same with the knife but still a cool gadget let me know in comments what do you think all right guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite thank you for watching and i'll see you next time